Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you 50 English phrases which will help you to speak English fluently. The very first one is how's it going? How's it going? This one is used for how are you because how are you is too common and everyone is using it. Number 2. We will use no long time no see. Long time no see. This phrase is used when you meet someone after a long time. Your next question could possibly be what have you been up to? What have you been up to? This one means what you have been doing all this time before meeting you. So, these are the first three English phrases. Number 4 is can't complain. Can't complain. This one is used when when someone asks you how's it going, you can say can't complain. It's another way of saying that everything is going fine. So, how's it going? Can be answered with can't complain. Okay? The next phrase is how do you know? How do you know? This one is used when somebody knows something which you haven't told or you don't have any idea how someone picked it, you will ask how do you know? How do you know? Number 6 is that's a good one. That's a good one. This one is used when someone gives you a good idea or cracks some joke or anything that's funny. So you will say that's a good one. That's a good one. The next one is it is very kind of you. It's another way of saying thank you. When somebody says you or uh, tells you something or helps you in any way, you will say it's very kind of you. It's very kind of you. Number 8 is thank you anyway when somebody doesn't help you or is unable to help you and you still as a good gesture you say thank you anyway thank you anyway number 9 is thank you in advance this one is very special one for me when i ask someone for any kind of a help i already say thank you in advance forcing someone or a way of persuading someone to do something for you number 10 is no worries no worries this one is used when somebody says you thank you and in reply you say no worries no worries number 11 what's going on here when a teacher enters this class and students are making noise or doing something so you, as a element of anger or surprise you just say what's going on here what's going on here number 12 is did i get you right in the middle of conversation or just to confirm something you have heard if somebody says something you don't understand or you just want to confirm it you say did i get you right did i get you right number 13 is don't take it to heart this one is very important to just lift somebody's spirit to just encourage someone you say don't take it to heart it just happens that's fair enough okay let's, let's take it easy number 14 is I didn't catch the last word. I didn't catch the last word. When somebody says something and you are you are busy somewhere, probably on cell phone or any uh, anywhere else talking to someone else too, you just ask that person, I didn't catch the last word. Can you repeat? I didn't catch the last word. Can you repeat? Number 15, another way of saying this, sorry I wasn't listening. When somebody asks you something and you are not attentive, you say sorry I wasn't listening. Can you repeat? Can you repeat? Number 16. Again this one is to just please someone you can just say it doesn't matter if somebody is depressed about something you say it doesn't matter it's not the end of the world it doesn't matter it's not the end of the world you will get another opportunity so it doesn't matter number 17 is finger crossed finger crossed this one is used when you are wishing someone and you are hoping for his success finger crossed you will use finger crossed Number 18. Oh that that explains it. Oh that that explains when a batsman plays a very good shot you say what a quality batsman he is. You say oh that that explains explains it. Or you can also say in real life when somebody says something and something happens and you just uh, take that as an example and you say oh that that explains it. Number 19. Things happen. Again this one is used for motivation for encouraging so when somebody says that i make mistakes i can't learn english i say oh things happen things happen mistakes are common things happen take it easy number 
sorry to bother you sorry to bother you this one is when you are asking someone help and he she is be already busy so you just ask someone uh, sorry to bother you can you tell me the way please sorry to bother you can you tell me the way please number 21 i'll i'll be with you in a minute when you want to leave a company or uh, you want to leave that particular group where you are and you will just say to take permission or to let someone know that you will back as a good gesture you say i'll be with you in a minute or when you are uh, doing something and somebody asks a question within a class and you are doing the lecture you say i'll be with you in a minute let me complete the, the, this concept first number 22 where were we where were we this one is used again uh, it's a very good example in a class if you uh, get disturbed someone comes from outside and ask for some kind of signs or anything and you get back to the class and you ask the students where were we at which place which line we were doing similarly you can do that in real life as well where you are dis- uh, discussing something somebody disturbs and then you get back to the same idea and you ask the other person generally we forget we will say where were we number 23 you were saying and the answer would be the student might say you were saying you were saying that 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 whatever number 24 when somebody succeeds and you want to congratulate i got a government job and the answer would be lucky you well done congratulations lucky you number 25 i freaked out when you are that tired you are frustrated you will use this phrase i freaked out i freaked out this person doesn't listen i freaked out number 26 good for you this can be both positive and negative when somebody gets some kind of success or achievement you say good for you good for you wow good for you but when somebody tells that something bad has happened with him or her you say good for you good for you as a negative that it happened with you you deserve it number 27 you got to be kidding me when something happens and you don't believe that thing and you say you have been kid uh, you have been you got to be kidding me you got to be kidding me you got to be kidding me means i don't believe it actually happened okay number 28 cheer up cheer up don't lose heart don't give up cheer up cheer up when somebody is depressed and you want to tell that person again this is a very good one to please someone to just take that cheer up doesn't doesn't matter you can reappear in the exam and you will get good marks there might have been some mistake we'll check out we'll check out so you will use cheer up cheer up number 29 is come on you can do it again this one when someone is depressed sad and losing heart you will say come on you can do it come on you can do it number 30 keep up the good work when somebody succeeds in anything or achieves uh, something good you will say keep up the good work keep up the good work like uh, people asked me what should we do in uh, 2022 which we were uh, we couldn't do or something i said okay you are doing all fine so keep up the good work keep up the good work keep doing the good work number 31 that's amazing that's when something happens someone succeeds or someone does a good thing and you will say that's amazing and something is wonderful you will say that's amazing there you go when there you go babar azam you have scored another century there you go there you go so this one is a really good one number 33 not a bit not a bit are you feeling fine and you are still you know sick you will say not a bit or another way you, when i use it when some parents come and ask me uh, has my son improved in studies and if he hasn't improved i will say not a bit not a bit number 34 there is no room for doubt when something you your success is destined your success is for sure you'll say there is no room for a doubt there is no room for a doubt means that's for sure that's certainly going to happen pakistan will beat india there is no room for doubt there is no room for doubt number 35 when you leave a place you leave the company of your friends or someone in the end you will say i'll text you I'll text you or you want to tell update about something I'll text you I'll text you Ah number 36 when somebody is worried about something or uh, which is not very important or uh, just to cheer up that person you will say aha uh-huh, it's not worth it This phrase number 36 is not worth it It's not worth it 
it doesn't deserve you weeping for a poor friend you can just be happy ah it's not worth it number 37 when someone succeeds you will say you rock you rock okay you have succeed you have succeeded and you don't need to be uh, worry about anything or uh, this is the way of appreciating someone you rock you rock number 38 you should go an extra mile if some student is doing good and you just want him to be excellent in the studies and to perform well even better you will say you should go an extra mile similarly by learning these phrases you should go an extra mile in learning english you should go an extra mile okay okay if somebody is speaking english number 39 we will use this phrase step up your game for that person step up your game you're speaking good english all right but use these phrases step up your game step up your game means speak advanced english speak fluently number 40 pull yourself together if somebody is losing heart and is worried about this is another phrase for you pull yourself together pull yourself means courage up no muster your courage pull yourself together 41 you sold me you sold me if you uh, find something wonderful and you have no you can't help but to buy that thing you say you sold me you sold me number 42 this one is used to show that you couldn't care any more for that thing and you are unconcerned with that couldn't care less couldn't care less this one is couldn't care less number 43 there is a no brainer if someone ask you a simple question who is the captain of pakistan cricket team obviously you know that that's babar azam you will say this is a no brainer when something is really the un- really easy the answer is quite simple you will say there is a no brainer you don't need much of mind much of brain to answer that question number 44 i screwed up this one is used when someone is so depressed and he says i screwed up i screwed up means i have lost it's my mistake it's my fault i screwed up because of me i have my team or my class has my group has failed number 45 can you cover me this one is used can you cover me is used when you ask someone a favor you request someone to do something on your behalf you couldn't do that and you are busy, engaged in other activities you just you, you just ask someone can you cover for me can you cover me right number 46 i would better be going if like my friend often waste my time so i say i would better be going so instead of making these videos for my students when he is not helping me i say i couldn't uh i would better be going i'd better be going number 47 take care in the end when you have to say goodbye sometimes you say take care take care number 48 thanks heaven is friday thanks heaven is friday when you work for the whole week and it's finally friday or saturday and you know there are holiday there are holidays coming is the weekend you say thank god is friday thank god thanks heaven thanks heaven is friday thank god is also used number 49 take a bow take a bow when something is really wonderful you have achieved something and you say take a bow means be thankful take a bow take a bow means be thankful <laughs> when somebody has excuse me when somebody has achieved something and you say take a bow number 50 it doesn't get any better it doesn't get it any better when babar azam hits a cover drive the quantitor says it doesn't get any better is so perfect is so great it doesn't get any better so that's it for today let me know in the comment box below that you liked my video or not and what have you learned from here don't forget to subscribe my channel and also there is somewhere down the line a bell icon you can also subscribe it and just click it and you will get the notification personal notification when i'll upload another video for you thank you so much